Migraines are not just bad headaches, and they are actually their own distinct subclass of neurological disorder. Many patients with severe headaches often get diagnosed with migraines, but there are some distinguishing characteristics about migraines that separate them from other headache disorders. First is the idea that migraine is a sensory processing disorder. And what that means is a patient with a migraine, before they get an attack with a headache, they will actually experience different neurological phenomenon. And these phenomena can include light and sound sensitivity, nausea, vertigo, uh, they may experience visual disturbances that we call auras, and some patients may actually become weak or they'll develop numbness on one side of their body. And all of this is because the physiology of what happens inside of a migraine is actually a little bit more closely resembling a seizure than a classic headache disorder. Second is the idea that migraines are a genetic disorder, which means that if you think that you have migraines, chances are someone in your family history also has a migraine disorder. And this is because the genes that get passed along in migraine patients disrupt some of the protein channels that sit on the surface of the neurons, which predispose patients towards the migraine physiology. The third distinguishing factor is that migraines tend to operate in phases. So patients will usually know when they're going to have a bad headache day because they feel a little bit off, they feel more irritable, they feel more tired, they feel nauseous or light sensitive. Then they'll go and they'll have some of the sensory phenomena, which tells them that the headache is about to come on. Then the headache phase will hit, and then they'll go through what we call a post which kind of feels like a hangover type of a phase. People with bad headaches don't necessarily go through these phases, but patients with migraines do consistently go through these phases. This makes a difference because knowing if someone has a migraine versus someone having another headache disorder dictates treatment. A patient with a migraine may do really well with medications. They may also do well with things like vagus nerve stimulation or upper cervical chiropractic. We've also found that migraine patients do well with neurometabolic therapies like a ketogenic diet because some of these dietary changes can actually impact some of the underlying physiology that contributes towards the migraine. Knowing this also helps us to identify a lot of these patients that have really severe headaches and they get treated as migraine patients and they're taking migraine medications, but they don't really need that medication and it's not addressing the underlying cause of their problem.